Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. I gotta move the uh, washing machine out of the way. I'm coming back to one of my old favorite places. Hey, see this right here? This is uh, for ants. <laughs> it's uh, actually uh, uh, chalk. It's chalk for ants. Today I want to talk about what if you're looking for a maid? How do you find a maid? What's the best way of finding a maid? And if you find one, how much is it? And how do you get one? Uh, and how much will you plan on spending for a maid and it could be a housekeeper I call them maids it could be a housekeeper someone to uh, wash clothes take care of things at the house uh, someone to uh, you know <coughs> excuse me uh, someone to uh, make sure everything is taken care of and in a lot of cases you'll find that it's really hard uh, to to find someone because either you have to find them through word of mouth or someone that knows someone so how do you interview them how do you find them a lot of times it's word of mouth uh, is the best way there are agencies that have uh, you can actually access through an agency but the problem with that is uh, a lot of times they do a background but they really don't they're just people are just looking for jobs so you really don't know where they come from what they're about uh, you know you don't know a lot so really it's really hard to find someone and if you do find some, one of the safety features that you have to put in place to protect yourself. One thing that you have to really take a look at is always make sure that you lock your things uh, in your room. That's what my friend does. He locks his things in a room. How do you trust the mate? Uh, so is there background checks? You can do a background check on someone here. No worries. You, they do them all the time. They check people. Uh, there are ways that you can actually um, find out their background. Even if you check the background, does not mean that everything is going to be wonderful and perfect. Uh, the thing that I've uh, noticed and, and heard of, uh, at Ruth and, one, and I one time were thinking about doing it ourselves, getting ourselves a maid. But we had decided against it because uh, it's, we really didn't need one. It's just her and I and R, R and we didn't need one. But if, when we first got together, we're going to do a lot of traveling. But it's really someone to watch over things. Make sure the house is taken care of. Make sure uh, things are taken care of. But uh, R was more flexible on her schedule. Now she's not so flexible on things, uh, meaning that uh, she can't get away from school because she's in private school now. Um, really, what it boils down to is knowing the person, making sure you know that person. Can you do a background check? You can. There are companies out of Cebu. There's companies out of Manila that ask you a background check on someone to make sure that they have a decent background not been in trouble or what they call smudging uh, fingerprint smudge uh, to family word of mouth and if you have valuable such as rings and jewelry and things like that what my friends do they just lock it up in the room and then when the maid has when they get home they unlock the room let the uh, maid go in and clean up the room while they're in the room it's one way of doing it because you don't know you know you don't know uh, you, I would say you could trust them, but really, uh, can you? I, I don't know. But that's if it was me and I hired someone, that's what I would do. I would just lock all my valuables up in a room. Valuables. It's not like it's, I'm talking like a lot of stuff. I'm talking about anything that's valuable to you personally. It could be a watch that your father gave you. What's, what's the price on that, right? The watch may not be worth $10, but it's, it's which, what's important to you. It could be a ring. It could be eyeglasses it could be just anything it doesn't have to be uh, gold or jewelry or things like that it's not like you're gonna keep millions of dollars in the house it's not like that uh, a lot of times there are companies out there there are people that 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 get hired as maids that are uh, they scope the house out for future reference but really at the end of the day what I would do I would hire someone get a nanny cam uh, I would get uh, do the same thing that you would do in U.S. Get an anti cam where you can talk where you can talk to them and see them and see what's going on in your house at all times. Not only that, you can actually see who they are and what. Somebody comes on the property, it's not supposed to be on the property. You'd be able to see who it is at any given time. Say you're out of town. Say you're in uh, Thailand or in USA, and you want to do a check on them. You can easily do a, a check and see how everything's going at the house. 
my friend uh, in town, Ollie, has this restaurant when he's in Turkey. Uh, he had camera set up. He just tied in the camera set up wirelessly, and he could see anything, and he could talk to them. He could actually hear the conversations that's going on. And uh, he would say, hey, uh, I see you guys didn't open up till 10.30 this morning. You're supposed to be open at 10. You know, so, and he would watch that. And so they were aware of it. So they would actually do their job because they're afraid of the cameras. Uh, a lot of times, too, what you have to do is you have to, you know, you have to be cautious. Yeah, you don't give out a lot of information. Uh, you just don't do a lot of chit-chatting about stuff around when a lot of people are around like that. A lot of people trust their, their family or their, their whoever the person is, and I do, and I would. I would trust my family doing it. But um, it's a lot of times it's it's someone that's not in the family, it might be a mate, or they get jealous, or uh, see that you have a watch on, that they don't even have a watch, and they want a watch, even though this is the only watch I own now because they're all of them died. Uh, people see that, but they think, oh, he's got one, I want one. And that happens, and you get that, and you get that jealousy and things like that. But I thought I'd do this video about maids and how do you find a maid. The best thing to do about a maid if you want to find a maid is word of mouth. Find out who they were for in their past and background. Young or old, same. It doesn't matter their age. Age is just a number. It does not matter. It does not matter what, what background they have, this, that, and other. Because it's always to the need of the day. And what I mean by that is someone's need today is I don't need anything. I'm happy, happy-go-lucky. But if hard times hit that person and they see that there's 50 peso laying around or 100 peso or 500 peso laying around where they get that money. I don't know. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for always uh, commenting. Please comment. Please share. Please hit like. Thank you.